Okay, guys, so we're going to start and go ahead and start doing the rice, okay? All right. So the only thing I have in the rice right now, I just threw a little pinch of cilantro into the hot water with salt, canola oil, and also I threw in some of those yellow, uh, the sweet peppers, just a few uh, little pieces there. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do next, I just want to show you really quickly. This is a simple rice. You can just do one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to throw in uh, a half of red onion. Okay. And the other half is going to be for the shrimp. All right. And I peeled these in half just like this and I clean them out and a little bit of cilantro there. And, um, those go right into that hot boiling water for the rice. So this is a little twist that I do. <laughs> I use both ingredients. They're the same ingredients I'm using for not all of them, but some of the ingredients that I use for the shrimp I'm using for the rice. So, okay. So I already have, if you see over here, I already have, I chopped up some of those, uh, those sweet peppers along with those, uh, yellow peppers. I did pretty rings pretty much. Um, if you see, it looks like a heart. Mm -hmm. And I did some cilantro in there, if you see, and little pieces of that sweet peppers as well. Um, that's as far as I got with that because I'm doing the rice at the same time. The beans that I'm using for the rice are the ones that already have that great flavor in them, which is um, all that, the tomato paste, it has all that extra uh, peppermint, olive, all that good stuff. So I've cooked with these plenty of times in all my videos. So again, if you're watching my videos, you'll know exactly what can of beans these are. All right, and these are the longer, the longer beans. They're, they're the longer uh, beans, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do one can of that. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that granola. Two packets of sarsong, which I already have tore up. Throw that in there. Okay, we're going to do, um, no wait. We're going to do a little bit more of those, uh, it's, the, it's the same half of the red uh, onion. Same thing, I just have a few more pieces over here. We are going to do um, three tablespoons of that um, sofrito, the regular sofrito. Okay, so one, two, and three. And that's pretty much it. A simple rice on the side with this beautiful turkey and the shrimp. You can't get no better than that. All right, so last but least, we have two more ingredients that I also put into the rice as well. Um, all right, now wait. That hot pickled pepper, I put just one piece into the rice just to give it a little spunk, which I love. Okay, just one piece. There we go. And then I add in the same olives that I'm going to be putting into the shrimp. I'm putting a little handful of those um, into the rice as well. So just a little handful along with those, a uh, little bit of that water in there too. Beautiful. Okay, so this is it for that. And that's pretty much it. Here's my rice, nice and cleaned out. Pour that in, voila. And you have your rice. Already good to go. But lots of flavor. That's gonna have lots of flavor in there. <laughs> Alright, let me just this out a little bit more. I like to clean as I go. <laughs> okay, so let me sit this over here for a sec. Alright. So at this point you just want to make sure your rice is not sticking, of course, and just uh Blend that all in together, and that's going to be delicious on the side. And I just have to find my lid, and now I'm just going to use this. All right, there we go. Get rid of this. Now, I wanted to let you guys know I actually threw my shrimp in with the potatoes. The potatoes are cooked to perfection, so I just went ahead and I added my shrimp. If you could see it from here. I bring a little closer. I always do the daring thing and look at that shrimp right in there with those potatoes. Beautiful. So they're already in there. I have it at a very low heat because I kind of want them to, you know, just relax in there with that starch as well because that starch from that potato 
all in that shrimp is going to work out really beautifully as well. Okay, so keep this here. And um, last but least, I wanted to show you back here what the get lips look like in that turkey neck. Okay, so let me just get something I can grab it to. And it actually looks, uh, it looks like a soupy. That's what it's going to look like. Because the way I have it, let's see if I can give you a better angle this way. And all them juices, oh my God, so good. And if you can actually see that the neck is actually has a crisp to it, a crisp, crisp to it on top. <laughs> Slurring over my words. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's looking wonderful. And that's going to go right in with that shrimp, blend it in with the, with the same juices that are in there. I'm throwing that juice right into that shrimp when I mix it. So you're going to see that coming up next. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this rice video out to you guys. I still have some beautiful tomatoes I need to um, cut up and avocado, some of that granny apple, and we're good to go. So that's going to be it. And you're going to see how I put all this beautiful deliciousness all together so delicious and so excited that I did decide to do a shrimp salad on the side with this beautiful turkey. So I'm going to go ahead and add that, that olive oil, that um, summer sweet sausages in there as well. Um, so that's all going to look real pretty. And when I'm done, you're going to see the aftermath. So I can't wait. So let me get cutting those tomatoes up and I'm going to shoot this video out and I'll be right back with you guys in a sec. So again, I, thanks for watching. I cannot t express that enough. Thanks for watching and being there uh, as my subscriber. So up to that, love you all. So catch me in the next uh, round, okay? This girl's getting down in her kitchen.